And since tennis is such a unique sport where coaching is actually not allowed, players could easily play matches without a coach. I'm not saying by any means that players uh, shouldn't have a coach. They can benefit tremendously uh, from having a coach. However, it is also true that players can easily play without one. Therefore, when we're talking about coaching at the high level, theoretically, the coach does not need to know how to play tennis in order to be a coach. And there's many examples of this when parents coach their kids to great success. And see, tennis at the high level is quite unique because players play automatically. In other words, they need very little technical work once they reach uh, that high level. It's very small things that need to be corrected if there needs to be any corrections at all. So most of the work is really mental work. And do you need to be a great player to teach this type of mental work? Well, sure can help if you used to play tennis because if you, for example, played at the high level and you're coaching someone who plays at the high level, you can share your experience of playing at that certain level, what goes uh, through a player's mind. And even at the elite level, you can see that often players hire former elite level players because they go through the same experiences and this can be extremely beneficial uh, to a high level or an elite level player.